In this video we're going to learn two versions of Blackberry Blossom. The first is quite simple and uses mainly forward rolls and the forward backward roll. The second version is slightly more challenging but uses parts of the first arrangement along with a few new licks. We'll also look at the backup for the tune which is also quite challenging and learn a new backup technique. Here is the first version played slowly. Notice that the final G note in the middle of bars 8 and 16 is played with the index finger of the picking hand, hitting the middle G string. Here's a backup technique that I sometimes use. This is being played over an up the neck G chord. The backup for Blackberry Blossom can be quite tricky because of the chord changes that occur twice each bar. It will require a bit of practice to get the changes smooth and up to tempo. Here I'm using up the neck chords and the backup technique just shown over the Blackberry Blossom chord progression. You can hear what this sounds like as backup behind the guitar break later in this video. The second version of the tune more closely follows the traditional melody. The B part of the second version also brings the index finger of the picking hand across to the middle string in bar 82. It follows straight after the thumb. This can take a little getting used to. The last two bars of the B part are fun to play but can look a little complicated in the tablature. Here's the lick slowly in close up. Here's the second version played slowly. And here are the two versions plus the backup with the guitar.
For more great beginner banjo lessons, go to markwardle.net slash beginnerbanjo.